Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to run game and watch ROMs on the MAME 0234 B emulator. So if you haven't gotten the emulator already, just go to uh, just go to MAME's website, which is right here, and download the appropriate. Uh, main emulator for your platform or your operating system for me it's Windows 10 so you just download this if you if you haven't gotten it already um, don't download these these are not for like uh, for people who want to play main emulators this is for developers this is for um, players I guess you just download this and put it in your computer and extract it to a folder. I already did that, so um, the ROMs go in the ROMs folder and the artworks go into the artworks folder. So this is the artwork for Snoopy Tennis and where you get the artwork is at uh, Proget Progretto Snap's website which is right here go here go to artworks go there and you want to select the right one, so it's GNU, GNW Game and Watch. Let's say I want this one, Donkey Kong Circus. Just download it into your computer. So I got the artwork for that, so I'm going to run a game and watch ROM and show you. Just put G and W and these will show up with all the game and watch ROMs. Snoopy Tennis, I'm going to run that. This is without the artwork, so this is how it looks. So start at press 5 and 1 to start. Okay, that doesn't look very good now, does it? I'm going to exit out of here. I'm going to put the artwork here. And the name for the artwork should be the same as the name for the ROM. Or it won't work. So uh, this is GNW's S Tennis. And then the ROMs folder, it's also GNW underscore S Tennis. So they're the same name, so they have to be equal to each other. Okay, now I'm going to run the same game with the artwork. It looks very much like the handheld LCD um, video game. Five to start. These types of Video games were very popular in the, in the 1980s to 
I guess early 1990 up to 1991. If you were growing up in the 1980s, you probably played one of these. Oh man, okay, I died. So to get out is just escape. And make sure you set up the button before you start. So press tab. I mean, when you're playing the game, that is. So let me go back here. So press tab, and uh, you could. Let's see what if we have different uh, artwork. We do. Okay, this is a lot bigger. As you can see, I'm gonna press tab again. This doesn't have any artwork. This is just a standard version, which is not very good. Um, this looks more like, more or less like the real thing. No shadows. Unit only. We could that as well. Alright, so let's try something else. Okay. You go to slider controls here and change the position of the screen. Stretch, you can stretch it out so as you can see the screen is getting wider now I can't quite see everything so I'm going to set it back to one where you can see game now on the bottom left corner okay there's also vertical stretch vertical position so I'm moving it from up to down left is going down, R left is going up, right is going down, it kind of like adjust the screen. Let me try something else. So this is for a double screen. Let me go back here. This is without the game console. No shadows. That's a raw image. It's not very good. unit only. I like this background better. 5 to start and 5 and 1. Oh yes, the buttons. Press tab. Go back to previous. Go to uh, input in general. So right now I have my gamepad, so up, enter, down, enter left, enter right, button, and then press tab again to get back, five and then one. So every time I press the button, you can see that on the game console, when I press jump button, you can see it being pressed, like I'm really pressing it.
Okay, that's it. So I'm gonna exit out of here. Get out of here. Just press escape to get out. So that's how you run the game and watch emulator on the MAME 0234 emulator, basically. So that's